Next up on the docket, Coach Dan Smith, our women's basketball coach. And, uh, and, uh, I really admire what she's done with that program and, and really taking it from, you know, again, not having a base or a background of a tremendous amount of a success and, uh, and, and truly creating something and winning an Ivy League championship uh, against a lot of odds. Really, an accomplishment, and all of us on the staff, we realize that. Sometimes coaches know the best, and we all realize the job she's done. It's not a good day, and thank you. Picture frame. 
We start at 0 and 7. 0 and 7. And at that moment, in my, in my mailbox, I got a, a note from the man I like to rip on so much, Steve Donahue. And it was a, it was a quote. And, he, and the quote said, an army of deer led by a lion will always defeat an army of lions led by a deer. And once again, that gave me the energy, the boost, the belief in myself and what we're doing to kind of push forward. And at that moment, we had a young woman named Jaomi Maduka. If anyone's a basketball fan, maybe not even, she's a terrific track athlete also. Um, she, her freshman year, had, uh, was Rookie of the Year. And it was her sophomore season. We lost seven games in a row. And she comes in my office and she says, Coach Smith, I have to go to Nigeria for six weeks. What? We have a family outing. My grandmother is turning 80. I must go. She's our best rebounder. She's our leading uh, scorer. She's absolutely the best athlete in the, in the Ivy League. And at that moment, I thought, okay, you're going to miss six games, so we're going to go 0-13. <laughs> and I grabbed this sheet that Steve gave me, and I read it, and I was like, okay, we've got to move forward. We've got to keep believing. And, and just like Jim with the pens, you know, we were a team of one click, and that was Jaomi. And when she left, we had a nice team meeting in our locker room, and we said, you got to look around the room, because all of you are looking at Jayomi to get your job done, to lead us to a victory. It's not about that. It's about looking at yourself in the mirror and asking yourself, what can I contribute? How hard can I work? What can I do for this team? And right at that moment, we became a team that, that grew and learned and believed in one another. We went on and win five out of six games that she was gone. She came back. Um, we, we had a, a very good Ivy League season. We finished in third place, the highest ever. And the following year, we won 20 games and won the Ivy League uh, title for the first time ever in Cornell women's basketball history. And when I look back at what was our transformation, you know what? It was about believing in, her, in myself because of men like Steve and Andy. It was about looking at the, the young women and telling them they have to believe in each other. They have to work together. It's not a, it's not a one person show. It's about when you think you're on your way after a failure, you fall down, you gotta get back up. You gotta take that second chance. And you need to believe that everything that you do will always have a purpose and in the end, it's gonna get you where you wanna go. And I appreciate the people that believed in me and I appreciate what all of you do for, for CARS. It's an unbelievable organization. Everybody that's in that program needs your belief, needs your support, and I, I tip my hat to all of you that offer that to them. So thank you for having me today.